Hello there! Welcome to this new video. Now that we have seen the basics of animation, it's time as many have asked in the comments to see how to make special effects. And in this video we will see the lightsaber effect. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And let's go! Okay, so before we start, I would like to point out that this effect requires the After Effects software. There are probably other methods, but I don't know them. So, once you have After Effect, you still need to download a free plugin named Saber and made by Video Copilot. Of course, I put the link in the description. Now we are ready. You have your animation, the software, and the plugin. All that remains is to understand how it works. So the first thing is to put your animation in the timeline, then create a solid. On this solid, add the saber effect you downloaded previously. You can see that the effect of the plugin have appeared on the left. They are essential because they define the key images of your animation. This means that if you make a setting at a specific time, this setting will be saved for the exact moment. So, if you make two settings at two different times, you will be able to see the transition between the settings. So you have to activate all the timers so that your settings are defined at different times. In the render setting, you must press transparent and not black. I think you have now understood how the animation will work. To animate the saber, you just have to move image after image the lightsaber and to position it well in relation to your minifigures. Then, there is also the appearance of the saber, like its color, texture, or luminosity. It's up to you to define as you wish. Everything you need is on the left side of the settings. We are going to look at some pretty important ones anyway. You have, for example, the size of the lightsaber, which is handy especially for Legos who have rather thick sabers. Then we have some settings concerning the texture of the saber that you can modify as you wish. Next we have the size of the start and end of the saber which can be useful if you have a great perspective in your animation. There are also adjustments concerning the roundness of the saber, but also its size which can be used when the saber lights up. You also have the flicker that allows you to give a more realistic rendering to your saber by making it blink a little. What I propose now is to show you how I animate when I make a video. And here it is, the video is coming to an end, I hope it has helped you, don't forget to subscribe and see you later for more!